So this is the first one here. This is the 2022 Tesla Model 3. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, I haven't done a video in a while, but this is one on the new update. This is 2022-36-2. First one here is the Energy app. Uh, so I've read a little bit about this in my short video, but it's just basically gonna go over some information you're gonna see in the Energy app. So we'll just, so you can find the Energy app under your app sections, and then you go over here and then Energy. So in here, it's got some information. Okay, under this app here, you can see under here, we got Park, Drive, uh, Trips, is nothing there, but Ray this must be my last drive that I just did. The drive, uh, it just shows you now the consumption of it for driving. Uh, you know, I use 0.1 kilometer climate. I use 1.7. So you can see the climate uses a little more. It's, it's cold out now. So I had the heat on. Battery conditioning. We didn't have to condition the battery before getting in the car. Elevation went up a little bit of hill that used some. And energy everywhere else. It says 0.04. Uh, it's got some tips over here. Average acceleration consumption, more energy, chill mode, import effect, low tire pressure cost 0.2. So I got to check my tire pressure. Going uphill cost 4.1 kilometers and going downhill saved 4.4. So it's pretty cool about that there as well too. Yeah, so it, this is 19. This is a little bit of a bigger drive that we did before. Again, driving 3.2, climate 2, 2. So you can see all this stuff here we use while parked. So this one here, it's got your screen time, preconditioning, cabin overheat protection, sentry mode, mobile app, and vehicle stability. So uh, you can see this one here, like last charged. The screen time was only a little standby. Was I used some part, part. This will go better when I... Uh, and then the comparison chart was already there before. This one is cabin overheat protection. And you just go under here and then you go into, into safety. That's right, into safety, you just go into safety. And then you'll see cabin, cabin overheat. Uh, I've got it off, you can flick it to on. If you flick it to on, now it gives you choices. I'm gonna leave it at 40 degrees, but you got 30, 35 and 40. Uh, no AC on or off, so we'll put it on. Not that I really need it now because we're in the fall. But anyway, that's another new feature. The Tesla app, uh, ETA and destination, uh, I'll have to show you that in a second. Uh, supercharger additional information. So we can uh, show you how that works as well too. So this is under the superchargers, the more information you get there. So I just uh, click over here on there and this shows you your superchargers. Pick one that you're gonna go say, uh, Grimsby, we go there. So now when you click on the, the supercharger itself, it's going to give you some more information. So it says Gr Grimsby, eight stalls, busy times. It kind of shows that, you know, what times of the day it's got peaks and lows, uh, the charging fee, idling fee up to, you know, to if you idle and, and leave it there, if you go away and walk and you're already full, they charge you a fee for doing that. So you want to time yourself pretty good, get back and move your car. It shows you here also uh, what kind of amenities there. There's a hotel, there's Wi-Fi, there's food, uh, bathrooms and that. And it says the distance for me to get to that thing and then lets me add it. And uh, you can start it like uh, this is one of your favorites. It, it's 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 def definitely pretty cool. It's just added some more information to help us get along there when we're uh, traveling. So you can see there on the musical side of things, it's got that it's got the radio on my screen there. This is just screen recording the the screen there and what music is playing there. I don't know if all that was there before. Navigation, let's see here. You can show me a little bit here on the navigation side of things, where the supercharger is and what, what, what state it's at. So it, it, it's showing more information about the trip on your phone as well too as the screen. So maybe that way, you know, somebody in the back could have a look at it or, or whatever. Uh, let's just get back out of here. So we got that climate navigation also shows there all the nearby charges that are near if i needed something closer than the grimsby one to to get charged up there you'll notice on uh, the screens here now here it says where we're going the tesla supercharger it says that we'll arrive there at 8 30. it gives you the time on there on the phone like i said it's giving you the same stuff that you would get on the screen but now you're also getting that on the app like i said it, somebody in the back wants to know or, or whatever uh wants to to make some adjustments maybe even uh change the stop we're going to make it at it without touching the screen here uh just gives you a little bit more information on on the on the actual screen there so it says supercharger Grimsby, Ontario, 169 kilometers away. 
and 831 arrival. And then, like I said, if you click over onto it, it shows you where you're going. And, and then you can also change your, your charging stop there as well, too. Okay, I hope you uh, liked the little video I did here on the Tesla release notes. Uh, please, 2022 36-2, please like and subscribe. Appreciate it. I'll try to do more videos. I was off with the COVID for a week, so I haven't been doing much lately. And wow, did that ever take the knock the crap out of me. Anyways, uh, please like and subscribe. Give me any comments below or any questions on the new update. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Have yourself a great day. Uh, thank you very much.